Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you to, to be all connected online and to be there with us this afternoon. Thanks for our very honored speakers. It was a very, very great debate, and this is exactly what we wanted, to, to, to make uh, emerging all those ideas, uh, conflict that we need to solve, constraints that we need to resolve. Because we need to solve a problem which is much bigger around climate change, and much bigger than all our indiv individual firm. So that's why you heard a lot the word ecosystem. You heard a lot the word partnership, because countdown has started. In the five years down the line, we need to make a massive, massive shift toward to renewable energy. But we will have a lot of constraints. It will not be an easy way. Even if we have the cash, even if we have the willingness to go fast, even if we have the technology, the know-how, the people, there will be as well a race for raw material. I need to conclude as well to tell you that the reserve on raw material are not infinite. To give you a perspective around copper, as cables are made by co with copper, the consumption of copper in the world moved from 9 million metric tons to 21 million, mi million metric tons in the last 25 years. The extraction capacity of copper right now is about 23 million metric tons. So today we, we have a pretty relatively good balance between supply and demand. But because the world's going through more and more electrification, because of the shift of the electrical vehicle, these 21 million metric tons will turn in 35 million metric tons in coming 10 to 15 years. How we will follow the extraction? We'll be stuck at 23 million metric tons for the next five years because the extraction capacity have not been adapted to this exponential demand. So the only way to support the investment that we all mentioned this afternoon is recycling. This is why I'm back as well to the introduction of Adrian about regenerative economy. We need to make sure that everything that we will have to dismantle from the distribution network in the cities to bring new cables, we need to keep the waste because the waste of today is the growth of tomorrow. We need as well to build a higher know-how for this new industry for offshore wind farm. I, I remind, there was a great question about the education and there was a great question regarding motivation. How do we make sure that people we will hire today will still be there tomorrow. You have to think about the aerospace industry. It took more than 50 years to build up and scale up the aerospace industry. It's the same for the offshore wind farm. We are just at the beginning of a new journey that will last for the next 50 years, except that we have the constraints of time. We need to speed up, and this is why that we cannot be fast alone. We have to be fast together, working in an ecosystemic manner. This is ending the third climate day of next year here in New York City. We are very, very proud to be there with you here in New York under, during the Climate Week on the uh, <clears throat> United Nations event. I need as well to close my remark to tell you where will be the next climate day. So, we talk a lot about the green energy today, but there is another thing that we value a lot on the problem that we want to resolve as well, is do not forget that one billion habitants in the world have no access yet to electricity. This is a fundamental issue. Nexans is participating in Africa on more and more on village electrification. We have just finished the electrification of 50 villages in Ivory Coast. We are just starting the electrification of more than 300 villages in Ghana. So this is why I'm very proud to announce that our next rendezvous for our fourth edition of the Climate Day will be next year, same date, in Casablanca, in Morocco, on, in our plant. We are so important in that region. 
We will not be talking about offshore wind farm specifically, but we will talk about the electrification scale up in this fantastic region. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you to be presenting. It was a great day for Nexans today. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.